Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and uh, if you don't mind me saying so, you're having a great hair day today. I hope you can say the same about me. I hope we're both having good hair days, but I don't think anyone on the planet is having a better hair day today than Madison Cunningham, because her hair today has a signature petal. <laughs> it's her signature petal, but it's called Artificial Blonde, which I think is a very funny and great name for a guitar pedal. Uh, let's talk about Madison a little bit. She's been teasing this pedal since at least August. Uh, she gave an interview in which she said that the JHS Emperor, which is their dual chorus vibrato pedal, is the foundation of her tone. Love is not the foundation, a good vibrato is. I love that about her. It's, you don't hear enough vibrato in modern music. I can think of a few songs that have vibrato. Um, uh, time Spent in Los Angeles by Dawes does, a bunch of Mac DeMarco, a bunch of older stuff, Beatles, but it's just not the most common effect. And I hope that this helps vibrato regain some acclaim and some pedal board real estate. So let's get into it. Uh, first things first, this is JHS's first true stereo pedal. They're also calling it their first true signature pedal because the Emperor has been such a foundation of Madison's tone, and it's their first true stereo pedal. So a lot of first trues for JHS today. Love that for them. Uh, I'm recording this demo via uh, the Benson Chimera Mixwave plugin, which can do stereo. So please listen with your headphones. It's fine if you don't, you don't have to use this pedal in stereo, but it adds a nice undulating quality. As for the controls, we have volume, that's the output, and it gets, it gets quite a bit louder. Uh, it can really drive the Chimera app the plugin, uh, and I will demonstrate that. You also have EQ. So to the left, more bass, less treble. To the right, more treble, less bass. Then we have two speed controls and two depth controls. I'm gonna turn this pedal off. That's because you can bounce between two settings on this pedal without having to screen dive. B is going to be the default setting. So if that's the basis of your tone, you probably want to set B where you want, wherever you want to start. And then A is your secondary. Maybe you want a wild rubber band kind of sound, or maybe you want, as I have set here, a uh, higher speed with compensating that with lower depth. And I'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to get to playing. Um, I'm playing again that plugin, the Mixwave plugin, the Benson one. And I have a Music Man cut list with the heat treated pickups. I'm going to start with the speed and the depth at noon. Any television fans out there? <laughs> So that is just true north for both of those settings. Uh, you can get the depth quite high. You can turn the depth down and the speed up for a nice little flutter. And let's go back to True North and look at that I uh look at that EQ.
intro, I had the, on one of the guitar tracks, I had the EQ just a little bit high on the highs, and I had the volume up, I think, on both, because it really does a good job of driving that amp. I honestly really like that and I appreciate it. Normally the reason you see a volume control on a pedal like this is sometimes in some rigs, some pedals can have a bit of a volume drop on and off. I didn't find that to be the case with this. It may kind of feel like it's the case because of the stereo and because of the modulation, but I just don't think it is. Regardless, if you feel that way, you can turn it up a little bit or a lot. Uh, <laughs> so I really like that. But let me tell you about the, the settings I use and how I would use this pedal if it were on my board full time. I'm a believer that in things like chorus, vibrato, and frankly, tremolo, you can have either a high rate of speed or a high depth, but I don't like it when you have both. I get sometimes you want that rubber band sound. I respect it. It's not for me. So how I would use this is I would have uh, a setting where the speed's a little bit lower and the depth is a little bit higher and one where the speed is higher and the depth is low. So you might use something like the B setting right now in a bit of a slower song. <laughs> And then if the next song in your set has a higher tempo, maybe you go to a faster one. I'm not editing out that bad note. <laughs> So there you have it. That's a quick look at the Madison Cunningham signature pedal by JHS called Artificial Blonde. Great name, 10 out of 10 name for a guitar pedal. Um, check out Madison's music. Ideally buy it. Musicians prefer it when you buy their music, but stream it if you must. Uh, I enjoy it. I think it sounds really, really nice. The Emperor was one of the first guitar pedals I bought when I got back into pedals and it stayed on my board for a very long time. I can absolutely see why Madison gravitated toward that. Um, my, <laughs> I think the reason I didn't play an Emperor after a while is because I wanted a chorus that was capable of stereo at the time chorus and vibrato is capable of stereo. So this is that. This is a vibrato with stereo. I do think it adds a really nice sweetness. I think overall, uh, sweet is how I would describe the tone of this pedal. And I, I think it's lovely. So if you're looking for a dual vibrato that has stereo, EQ, and can drive your amp, this is that. It's available now everywhere that JHS pedals are available. Uh, if you are interested, I have affiliate links in the video description. If you purchase this pedal using one of those links, I get a small share of that sale. It costs you zero extra dollars, but it's a way to support the channel doing things you're probably going to do anyway. And I certainly appreciate it. Uh, if you're looking for other ways to support this channel, we have a Patreon at patreon.com slash get offset at the $5 or above level. You get access to our exclusive discord server. We also have merch at getoffsetpodcast.com slash shop. And uh, my personal favorite way to support the channel is to like, comment, and subscribe, and also maybe tell your favorite brands about us, about me. 
these days. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thank you again to JHS for sending me this in exchange for a demo. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for understanding. Until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.